basically we 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 are here to at, at the consumer affairs for your benefit and we are here to make sure that every consumer in this country is knowledgeable has information that he can act on his own and act in the correct way right um part of our core function is consumer education which is what we are trying to impart this evening um we we do it through a number of different ways. We meet face to face. We go on the radio and we have interviews. We are also put out. You got some brochures to this evening, which we hope you'll find very helpful. Um, we we the, 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 the education program is not confined only to the consumer because we also are aware that businesses sometimes are not aware of what their responsibilities are to the consumer. We assist you with your complaints. And we also do uh, regular surveys. Again, in your, bro in your little package, you will find places that <laughs> this lady mentioned that the, the places that, um, that we chose to do the surveys that are very expensive. But believe you me, there's hardly any place that is cheap. Le best I can say to you that there are some places that are less expensive than others, but nowhere is cheap. Okay, um, so far for the year, we have been able to interface with over 13,000 persons. Um, so far it's skewed towards the students, but we catch it up with the adults. Um, the complaints we've handled so far, um, I think that's a, a little large figure. I think I missed that, that one. Um, it was just around 600 complaints and we have been able to resolve a little over 400 that that um, sorry for that error we also provide advice so if you have a problem and you're not sure how to proceed or it might be that you want to know whether or not the company that you're about to engage in is reliable or what sort of how have they treated their customers in the past because sometimes it's not a matter of the fact that you you won't have complaints you know I'm pretty sure that even COK has complaints you get complaints from your customers and your, your, your membership. But it's the way in which you deal with those complaints that is important. And um, those persons who treat you badly in terms of how they, 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 they consider that their work is done once they have, you have bought their, their product, you have paid for it, they no longer have, they no, as I said, they no busy with you again. We feel that that is not correct, and the law also feels that that's not correct, because there is a responsibility that each each business person, whether they are providing a service or selling you a good, has to you. Um, so far, we've been able to uh, obtain refunds um, of 1.06 million. Um, last year, we, we ended up with well over 20 odd million in terms of refunds. A lot of those related to motor vehicles. So I can I implore you to be very careful about who you get involved with in terms of that particular type of purchase. It was well over 60% of the refunds related to motor vehicles last year. Just, those are just the surveys that we, that we, that we spoke about. Um, we do different types of, of surveys. They, they, they relate to um, Grocery, we also do petrol and hardware. And hardware is, is particularly important at this point in time because we are right in the middle of, or we have just begun the, the hurricane season. So we like to keep a track of how these things are being sold because you'd be amazed at how the prices increase once you have those disasters that, that hit us. Um, one comedian mentioned that the price is triple and you know there's no such word but you understand what I'm talking about in fact um, I, I, I'll share with you there was one occasion where you had it was just after Ivan candles which were you'd normally get a pack for less than maybe $50 at the time were being sold in Montego Bay for 